Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. I greatly appreciate all of the ongoing support. This is my channel, Dragon's Jewel Creative Gems, and I'm Tegan. And today I'm going to do an unboxing for Diamond Art Club. But first, I'm going to get all that wonderful YouTube stuff out of the way. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please consider doing so just down below there. If you like the content that you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Any love, comments, suggestions, all that good stuff, there's that comment section below as well. And I will also mention that I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, and that just means if you shop them, go ahead, feel free to use that link that's down below. You buy your products like you normally would through them, but anything that's eligible, at no extra cost to you of course, anything that's eligible will give the channel a small commission, and that just gets put right back into kits that maybe otherwise I wouldn't be able to show you. Any crafty hauls, small shop, spotlights, that kind of thing. It just helps me cover some of those costs. Um, so always greatly appreciated if you do already shop them and use that link. And of course we'll get down to the unboxing now. And this one was another Black Friday deal. So this one is called Slow Night. And it is by Erica the Goober. It is square and it's a 31 by 22 inch or a 78.7 centimeter by 55.8 centimeters. So here is the image just on the box to kind of give you an idea. I of course will show the large sticker and all the wonderful stuff that comes inside the canvas so you'll get a better view of everything. No worries there. First, we've got our small sticker. This is great if you want to put it on your package, on the outside of the box, log book, however you see fit. Uh, the sticker is there for you. It gives the artwork name, artist, diamond shape, and the size of the canvas. And then of course their toolkit, which will have everything that you possibly could need or want to get you started on this kit. So things are randomized so we'll have fun showing that but first we will do the tray that comes with it the four and seven multi-placer baggies to get up get down you'll also have your two pieces of heart wax in your heart caddy because it's a square kit, you will get the Diamond Art Club branded tweezers. Your fun randomized goodies will be the color of your diamond painting pen. And this one is a light blue. Your cover binder, which my magnet came off. But it's this very sweet kind of corally colored rose. Um, very easy, just glue the magnet back on and it'll be good again. And then this nice uh, blue washi with kind of some very pale white flowers. I don't know if you can quite see the details of it. Absolutely gorgeous there. Um, I'm just going to move this off to the side here. And get around to showing the canvas. So you're of course going to get your pamphlet with the thank you message from the company. They have lots of great information in here. There's QR codes for discount if you use the app, for their Facebook group, for video instructions on how to diamond paint. You've also got written instructions for how to diamond paint, what comes in this kit, um, tips, tricks, all that wonderful stuff is in here, so if you're new to diamond painting, this is a great resource, or new to Diamond Art Club, great resource. Um, then of course you'll get your large sticker sheet, which once again has the image name, artwork. This one you can put your starter end date on. 
It's got the larger thumbnail of the picture, the diamond shape and size, as well as all your kidding up stickers. Very great for logbook. If it's big enough, you just cut off your kidding up stickers, slap this in. It has all pretty much the information. You can write any side notes you want. You can put your dates in, all that good stuff. But here is the gorgeous image for Slow Night. It's a witch in her shop, obviously waiting for customers. Not many people are coming right now. But this one has 65 colors. And anything, of course, above 150 in Diamond Art Club is considered an AB, which is an Aurora Borealis. That's just a diamond with an extra iridescent coating. It looks like there's four of those in this kit. And then it's also got two special drills down at the bottom there, starting with the Z, which I believe are the fairy dust ones, which are fairly new or newer to Diamond Art Club. And they have kind of a glitter in them that just adds that, that extra little bit of sparkle and shine. Absolutely gorgeous either way. As you can tell from the colors, there's lots of oranges, lots of warm colors, pinks, purples, yellows. Do you have some dark browns in there? There is no 310 in here at all, so your dark colors are going to probably be that dark brown color. There's also a very deep purple by the looks of it, almost wine or burgundy in color, but yeah, some absolutely gorgeous warm tones in this one. Definitely going to be a stunner. So let's do a quick roll in the opposite direction here. Here she is. Oh, bumped my light, of course. There she is. You're going to get lots of great uh, multi placing up here with this background kind of whatever it's curtain border or something to her booth. You've got kind of some colors here for the lights in the background. Uh, all the different. Oh. There I go again, press that darn light. I'm going to do that probably multiple times here. Um, all the different potions and stuff on her back shelf. There she is, sitting there looking very, very bored, waiting for, waiting for a customer. She's got her open sign here with the candles. Her gorgeous tablecloth there. Some more of that kind of similar background shades. Yeah, I think this one will be absolutely gorgeous when she's done. I just love the colors in it. I love the theme. I liked that it was a lot of the red, orange, kind of warm tones in it. No, not very many. Not very many canvases do that outside of a landscape. So it was kind of nice to see it done in that almost like a... Um, like a sepia tone or something when you're putting a filter on. Um, so that was kind of cool. Can't wait to see how this one works up and turns out. This one was Slow Night um, by Erica the Goober. I, of course, will see everybody in the next video with something new. Have a great day. Bye.